Creations, Anna here with Fun Sock Creations. Today we've got a really simple yet useful project for you. It's a caterpillar or a neck pillow for sleeping that you can make look like a caterpillar. A couple of years ago I began having some pretty bad neck pain that was causing me to have shooting pain in my jaw and into my temple. But with the help of my family physician doctor and my chiropractor, we were able to get my neck back to normal. But my chiropractor recommended that instead of sleeping on a traditional pillow, that I start sleeping with a pool noodle under my neck. So I bought a couple different types of pool noodles and none of them really worked. And so then I started just sleeping with a pillow rolled up under my neck. And that kind of was annoying because it would come unrolled and then it was ineffective. So I started thinking, what if I filled a sock? And I tried all kinds of things and what I ended up finding the best thing to fill a sock with is lentils. All you need for this project are three things. A new pair of socks, lentils, and a rubber band. Optionally, you can also use some fabric puff paint to customize your project. To find cute socks for this project, don't forget to check out funsockcity.com. And as always, we have the pattern for this sock pillow in the description down below. And at the end, I have a funny story about lentils for you, so stay tuned. Let's get started. To get started, take your socks and set one aside. Insert the funnel into the sock and pour the lentils in. Every now and then you'll need to lift the sock up to let those lentils fall down to the bottom. And then begin filling again. This is about where I wanted it to end and I just need it a little more full. Test it around your neck again, see if it's a good fullness for what you want. If it is, go ahead and put the rubber band around the sock. Now if you're 100% positive that this is where you want it to be, you can actually just sew it shut. But this allows you to be able to adjust it if needed. And you wanna do it pretty tight. When you sleep, you can adjust the fullness to however you want it to be under your neck or on the side of your head if you are a side sleeper. I love this though for sleeping on my back and it has helped me so much. Go ahead and slide the second sock over this sock. This way you can wash it and having the second layer of socks just helps to keep it a little bit more in place. It helps if you get your fingers all the way down to the toe of the sock, then put it on right there and maneuver this big plump sock inside there. have a lot of loose material down here, so I'm going to pull that tight, kind of shake it down into there. And when you're putting it into that outer case, a lot of the lentils kind of get pushed down to the bottom. So redistribute that. Go ahead and lay down and test that out. If it seems good and where you would like it, fullness-wise and length-wise, cut off most of the excess, leaving only three or four inches, and then fold that inward. Now you can leave it just like this, or if you want to make it a little bit cuter, you can do something similar to what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this light blue puffy fabric paint and just put a little smile right here. I think one of my kids would really love having that on there, and maybe it might help them be a little more likely to use this pillow. contrasting color you could do some cute little antennae or you could use the same color then leave that to dry in a place where it won't get bumped all right if you found that video helpful like this video and also subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future projects that we'll share now to the funny story about lentils a few years ago I had found some recipes that called for lentils and all of these recipes sounded delicious to me so I started making these recipes for my family, and every single one of them, they hated. <laughs> I loved them, I thought they were delicious, but my family really didn't like them. So I had all these lentils sitting in my pantry because I had stocked up for my delicious recipes that no one liked. And that's how I came to the idea of using lentils in my sock pillow, and they really do work well. But as a side note, if you have any great recipes using lentils that are kid and husband approved, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.